tried to get into three colleges. Mm -hmm. Each time they rejected you. No, I, I tried. There is an examination that young people, if you want to go university, you have to taste, take the examinations. So I failed three times. Right. But a lot of fail. I failed for funny things that I failed a key primary school test for two times. And I failed uh, um, like a two, three times for the middle school, middle yeah. schools. And uh, you, you will never believe in, in Hangzhou, my city, there's only one middle school that last only one year. It was changed from primary school to middle school because our graduates of our, our, our school, no, univer you, no middle school accept us because we were too bad. When I uh, in the, graduated from universities, and before I, you know, for three years I tried to fill in the universities. So I applied jobs for 30 times, got rejected. I went for a police, they said, no, you're not good. I went to even the uh, KFC. When KFC came to China, 24 people went for the job. 23 people accepted. I was the only one guy. And we went for police. Five people, four of them accepted. I was the only guy that I rece received it. So to me, being turned down, rejected. Oh, by the way, I told you that I, would, I applied for Harvard yeah. for 10 times, rejected. <clears throat> and then I told myself, somebody I should go teach there, baby. I really... Like the, I don't know why, at 12, 13 years old, so, that time I suddenly fell in love into the language, the English. And there's no place you can, you can learn English at that time. There's no books, English books. So I went to the uh, Hangzhou Hotel, now called Hangzhou Shangri-La Hotel, because that was the hotel uh, can receive the foreign visitors. So every morning for nine years, I showed them around as a free guide, and they taught me English. And uh, I think that changed me. Today, I'm 100% made in China. I've never got a one-day train outside China. Yeah. And uh, people, when people talk to me, say, Jack, how can you speak English like that? Why sometimes you, you talk like an Amer Western guys? I think that was the nine years. These Western for tourists opened my mind because everything they told me are so different from the things I learned from the schools and from my parents. So now I have a habit. Whatever I see, whatever I read, I use my mind. Actually, Jack, the name was given by uh, a, a, a lady in tennis. She's a tourist. She came here and she said, she came to Hangzhou. We, had a, we become a pen friends. Maring is so difficult to pronounce. So she said, do you, do you have an English name? I said, don't. So can you give me an English name? She said, uh, okay. She said, my father called it Jack, my husband called Jack. What do you think about Jack? I said, good. In a building called the USA Bank. I don't know whether USA Bank is still there or not, <clears throat> but it's a building. And uh, on this, uh, my friend opened a small office, which is uh, like uh, only 10% bigger than this room. And there are a lot of much computers in there. And uh, he said, uh, Jack, you, this is internet. It was, I asked, what is internet? He said, you know, search whatever you want. At that time, they used Mosaic, very slow. Yeah. And I said, I don't use it. I don't want to type because internet, computer is so expensive in China. Yeah. If I destroy it, yes. I cannot pay. He said, just to search it. So I searched the first word, beer. And I see beers from Germany, beers from USA, beers from uh, uh, Japan. But there's no beer from China. And I say, OK, type the second word, China. No, no data. Nothing. Nothing. And I 1995. said. 1995. 1995, no data about China. So I talked to my friend, why not I make some, something about China? So we made um, a small, very ugly looking page called China. It's, it's, about, it's something like I did a translation agency and we listed on there. It was so shocking. We launched at 9.40 in the morning. 12.30, I got a phone call from my friend. He said, Jack, you know, you got five emails. I said, what is email? These are the things. See, people are so excited. Where are you? This is the first time I see a Chinese website on that. How can we kind of win? Can we do something together? So I think this is something interesting. So we should do it. When I started, I think internet is global. We should have a global name. And a name that um, interesting, like at that time, the best name is Yahoo. Right, I think. 
I kept, so I've been thinking for many days, suddenly think Alibaba is a good name. So I, I was happened to be in San, San Francisco that day. And I did have a lunch and the waitress come. I asked her, do you know about Alibaba? She said, yes. I said, what is Alibaba? She said, open sesame. <laughs> good. So I went on the street, asked about 10, 20 people. They all know about Alibaba, 40 thieves and uh, open sesame. And I think this is a good name. And start with A, whatever you talk about, Alibaba is always top. For first three years, Alibaba is just like e-marketplaces for, for information. Uh, what you have, what I have, we talk a lot of time, but don't do any business. Because there is no payment. I talk to the banks, no banks want to do it. Banks say, ah, oh, no, this thing never work. So I don't know what to do. Because if I start to launch a payment system, it's against the financial legal laws because you have to have a license. But if I don't do it, e-commerce will go nowhere. So then I went to Davos. I listened to a leadership discussion. Leadership is about responsibility. And after I listened to that panel, I give a call to my friends, my colleagues in the, my apartment, say, do it now, immediately. If something wrong, the government not happy about that, if one body has to go to the prison, Jack might go to the prison. Because it is so important for China, for the world, to build up the trust system. And if you do not do it, I said, and do not do it properly, stealing money, money wash, no trust record, I send you to the prison. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. that was the thing. And people, people don't like it. So many people I talked to at that time for Alipay, they say, this is the stupidest idea you have ever got. But I say, <laughs> I don't wear the stupid yeah. club as long as people use it. Now we have uh, 800 million people using this Alipay. Stupid yeah, things if you do is better, is better. Alipay is a privately held thing. It's not part of Alibaba. No, it's a private. Let me talk about money for a second. Yeah. Uh, you have never gotten money from the Chinese government? No. None. None. I, 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 um, I want it at the beginning, and later I don't want it because I think if the company always think about it, picking money from out of the government off pockets, that company is, is rubbish. Think about how can you make money from the customers and market and then help customers succeed. That's our philosophy. No money from Chinese banks? No. No. I, I, at that time I want, and now they want to give me, I don't want it. I, uh, I remember year 2001, we went to uh, raise some uh, five million, three million venture capitalist dollars in the USA and got rejected. And I say we come back raising some a little bit more. Years ago, people say, oh, Alibaba model is terrible. Does not make money, have this and that, all the big bad things because Amazon is better, eBay is better, Google is better. And there's no such model like Alibaba in the USA. So I told myself and people, we were better than people thought. 1999, year 2000, and even at the Yahoo time, a lot of people say, this Jack is crazy. He's, he's doing something that we don't understand. A lot of venture capitalists give you money because there is such a American model already there. But they say, Alibaba, we don't see this kind of model. Right? They and say then, Jack's crazy. Is what yeah, this is a crazy guy. I mean, yeah. I remember my first time in Time Magazine, they called me Crazy Jack. <laughs> and I, I think crazy is good. We are crazy, right. but we're not stupid. We know what we are doing. But if everybody agree with me, if everybody believe my, our idea is good, we have no chance. So that's the money we raised, we're very thankful. So when the, our investors make a lot of money, I feel proud and honored. At the beginning, for the first five years, I just want to survive. And five years later, I think... That's 2000, from 98. <clears throat> yeah. But later, I think, wow, so many people's life changed. I was so excited. You know, for the first three years, we made a zero revenue. Zero revenue. But we, we are so excited to continue to work. You know what happened? I remember many times when I go to a restaurant and have a dinner. Somebody came, I, when I was trying to pay the bill, the owner of the restaurant came to say, sir, your bill is paid by someone. And the small note said, hey, Mr. Ma, I'm your customer of Alibaba Group, Alibaba platform. I made a lot of money, and I know you don't make any money. 
And I remember in the Taobao days, I was at the Shangri-La Hotel in Beijing when I get on the taxi. The man who opened the door for me, the, the boy at the, at the gate, he said, Jack, thank you very much. I'm, so the, I'm you... Sims here. My girlfriend makes more money than I do on your site. <laughs> and this is something that you know that it's not amazing. If you don't do it, nothing's possible. If you try to do it, at least you have the hope. I remember one of the senior management of Walmart guys came to Hangzhou five years ago. He said, Jack, you know, you do a great job and blah, blah, blah. So we, I said, uh, maybe in 10 years we'll be bigger than Walmart. He said, young man, you have a good hope. Yeah. I think in 10 years we'll be bigger than Walmart on the sales because if you want to have 10,000 new customers, you have to build a new warehouse and this, that. For me, two servers. Believe what you're doing, love it, whether people like it, don't like it, be simple. And like the word, life is like a box of chocolate. You never know what you can get, right? <laughs> I never know I would be here talking to you and talking to Charlie Rose. I never know. But today I made it. I told my people in my apartment 18, 15 years ago, guys, we have to work hard. Not for ourselves. If we can be successful, 80% of the young people in China can be successful. We don't have a rich father, powerful uncle. We don't have one dollar from bank, one cent from government. Just work as a team. I worry about it today, young people, a lot of young people lose hope, lose vision, and start to complain. Because I, we also have the same period. Because when I got, it's not a good feeling being rejected by so many people. We also <coughs> depressed. But at least later we find that the world has a lot of opportunity. How you see the world, how you catch the opportunity, and movie probably is the best product that can help Chinese young people to understand. Because one thing I told the Chinese people, uh, my, my friends, in American movie, all the heroes at the beginning, they look like a bad guy. They have ter terrible things coming, they become a hero. And finally, they all survived. China, if you buy a movie, hero, all the heroes died. Become the hero. Yeah. So yeah. nobody want to be the hero. <laughs> yeah, I want to say hero. Today we have so many heroes live in this world. I think the fine the kung fu is something you you start to think about something that you cannot do. But if you have some luck, if you continue to practice, if you got a good master, if you're a good team, you're an expert. So at least it make me when I'm busy, when I'm tired, or frustrated, I read kung fu books and I use Taiji philosophy in the in the business. Calm down. There's always way out and keep yourself balanced. And meanwhile, don't try to, because business is, is a comp competition, is a fun. Business is not like a battlefield, you, uh, you die or I win. Business, even if you die, I may not win. Right, so it's about, it's about a fun. So Tai Chi gives me a lot of uh, inspiration. The only thing, we never give up. The only thing, like we like a forest gun, we keep on fight, we keep on change ourselves. We don't complain. Whether you were successful or not successful, I find that one per people, when they finish the job, if they make the mistake, if they fail, if they always complain the others, this guy will never come back. If the guy only check himself, yeah, something wrong with me here, something wrong with me there, this guy has the hope.